So guess what? This fool thinks he can move this boat with a lot less power using a giant propeller like this. What do you think? Can he do it? He's got me convinced, so I'm following the journey. And if you want to, too, push that little subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing. And, and say the sea turtles buy one of them bags. Four dollars. Ten dollars. Forty dollars. <laughs> Last time on Voyage Off the Grid, we showed you how to pull a 10 kilowatt brushless motor from a Honda Civic. Brandon believes that long props will mean a slower draw on the batteries. So the next step in testing his theory is to mount the motor to a prop, an old outboard. Primer line that gets the nozzle flow. Um. Yep. <laughs> That's how you work it. That's how you work it. That's how you work it. That's how you blow it. Tap a tap a. That's how you tap some holes. Easy enough. With a 3D printer. What do you use your 3D printer for? <laughs> it's just plastic. I use it to drill holes. I know how to tap holes with my 3D printer. How about you? How about you? Oh, yeah, you got to come back for some time. How about you, babe? No, no. Oh, it's. It ain't me, babe. It ain't me, babe. How about you? As far as I can go. Somehow I got my home pass off. Why is home not home anymore? Uh, I think because I paused it in the middle. Oh yeah, reset where you paused it, maybe. Weird. 
I have to watch this. I mean, I didn't expect that. You gotta watch the crap like that. Now, okay. <laughs> now it's right. You can see the path it's taken. Follow that around. And it's done. But it's not exactly right. Well, I can't measure my Check Matisse. I'll have to do some measurements, but it really, the size, that's not too bad. It might be a little bit off here. It's got a lot more over here. But I thought for how thick this was is how much we'd be missing over here. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the case. So we can still use it. It's so. definitely still use it. Uh, I don't know. Pick your pick multiple project paths we can go. You want to test this on the outboard and tap it? You want to try to cut the triangle and fit that? I mean, Let's go ahead and I, cut this. I could split off and be three people right now. The cost of this guy is $10. Oh. Wow. Because it's thick stainless. Yeah. You know it's a small cut. Isn't that amazing? perfect on this end I just my piece was a little bit longer that's how far off I was not that far nice good job all right and for the next check all this wood and plastic off of this thank god it does not just slide in whatever we do all right let's make sure this doesn't just slide in oh, there's the one right. you just printed huh that. Oh, so that's going to slide in there. Nice. Very, very tightly. And now we can go press the bearing in. And I have bolts that come through these four holes that engage this for clamping. Mm -hmm. But the alignment is done with another plate that I will cut out that has pegs. So you simply have to buy to cut another like this? Yeah, I have two, three more plates to cut. One more plate for the top mm -hmm. that'll hold a piece that'll engage this bearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the two side plates. And I don't know the distance of the side plates until I get the top plate and the bearing all mounted up. Okay. Then once it's all mounted, you know my side plates and I'll... It know. looks pretty and uh, as far as it's pretty, it will work. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's important to be it's pretty. pretty and lines up. <laughs> the alignment could be... So, Do you think we'll, we will have these for this before the winter time? Could you? <laughs> well, uh, she doesn't want to go south she wants to go south before winter, but she doesn't want to go south without the electric motor. So it's like, I'm like a funnel being squeezed into three days I have left, basically. So yeah, but you'll we'll do three days of it and we'll see where we're at. You we'll probably have enough. to end up taking the gas powered outboard. Oh, yeah. It's just the way it is. We did get this stainless steel finally oh, pieced. Oh boy, look at that. So this is the hub. Okay. I'll put it back on there. I'm going to test out this piece and see how it falls. I think they're all there. Yeah? I won't know until I tap them and put them in. But mm -hmm. That's the first mating of that, and then this will go on there. Keep that piece, it's already getting heavy. Yeah. So let's add this, and let's add this. I know how much my motor weighs, so. So we're you, at... you would need a boat to oh, just carry bad. it. That's not bad. You need a. <laughs> You need, a, you need a transatlantic to carry these. Right, um, trust the Atlantic? Yeah, too heavy now. Nah, I'd be alright. <laughs> the original motors, um, they put 120 pounds on that. Every day. We're out consuming the world's sun and turning it into motion. What's average about that? Just because it takes a while. Has the pressing setbacks. So this bearing is a little small, but it's really just to serve as a pilot bearing and keep this from wobbling. The top bearing will do the main support. And uh, the reason it's small is so that it tucks into here and gives us more clearance on the top side. <coughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with the fitment of the plate we cut. Bolt all these in and then tighten them. And then I'll go get the motor plate and see how it lines up. 
how much clearance we don't have. But hey, look, here's another bolt. Just... It's nice when you can just, I don't know, man. I wish I could go back in time and teach myself this when I was like 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How to drill and tap bolt. Yeah. With lasers. <laughs> And where in the city you can find such machines. Yep, 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 yep. See that torque in there? It's so loose. I mean, I can still thumb tighten it in. 